oh my god you've got a really good voice you should go on the x factor no i completely get that you are trying to give me a compliment but um i'm taking it as an insult because <laughs> I just want to say to people, can you not see what I'm doing? I have built my career up to the point where I am making a living entirely from music. Why not give me a bloody round of applause? Give me a pat on the back. You're doing great. I'm doing a really good thing. So when people come up to me and they're like, mm, you should go on the X Factor. Like, no, just no. I feel like we've all kind of grown up with the idea of if you're a singer and you want to be a pop star, the only way to do that is to go on The X Factor. And it's not our fault, it's just what's been kind of fed to us. So when I was um, 16, 17 years old, I'm not going to lie to you guys, I auditioned for The X Factor. I was one of those people, me and my mum and dad um, bought a pop-up tent. Ooh. Pardon me. We camped overnight in this queue. What it comes across as on TV is just, it's so absolutely far from the truth of what actually happens. When you watch it, it's like, oh, people just, they just turn up and they audition and there's Simon Cowell and then, well, hey, here's your music career. In reality, you would be expected to wait for about 10 hours what you are there for is to make um, TV Simon's not even there on that day it's a TV show at the end of the day yes it's to find a star but now this is not something that I like to admit but I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I was in a competition this girl comes up to me and she's like hi I'm blah blah from the X Factor uh, and I'm like thinking oh my god I gave her my details but in my head I'm like it's just not it's just not for me it's not the road that I want to go down so she kind of talked me into this the first audition that I'll go to is um, in front of like uh, producers and then if I get through that phase on the same day literally straight away I will be seen in front of um, a and R people from Sony. If you get on the show, you can just say no. So I finally emailed her back. And I'm actually going to sing sing an original song, and I'm going to play guitar. And she was like, "By all means, um, prepare an original song, but um, we're really going to need you to do a cover to a backing track rather than guitar, because we need to hear what your voice sounds like." <laughs> Couldn't possibly do that with an original song rather than a cover and playing guitar rather than a backing track. Ridiculous! How how ridiculous is that? So I go into this A&R panel. She was like, oh hi, um, can you just pop your guitar down for a minute while we just ask you a few questions? So I know what's coming. So Lucy, tell me about your childhood. How was your upbringing? Do you live with your parents? Are they supportive? I'm sorry, I'm not going to feed you a sob story. I have a very supportive family. She wanted to know about my life now. And I was like, well, actually, I'm a full-time musician. She should be going, that's incredible, well done. No, she looked disappointed when I said that this is my full-time career. Because, in my opinion, what she was looking for was a sob story, i.e., um, actually both my parents are dead and I'm homeless. I've never actually sang before. This is the first time I've ever sung in front of anyone before in my life. No! When I sang my original song, the woman sat there and she went, great. Do you have anything a little bit more upbeat? Do you have any covers? <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting angry. Okay, I'm a little bit negative. Why X Factor can be a good thing? The obvious one, exposure. There are certain artists I have discovered from watching The X Factor, i.e. Lucy Spraggan, Luke Friend, also James Arthur. Those are three examples that I highly respect. They did not let the TV show manipulate them. I also like Little Mix. They wouldn't even exist if it wasn't for The X Factor, so... Positive. Last year's X Factor, there was a girl that went on called Emily Middlemass, and she's a really talented musician. 
However, I think she is a perfect example of someone that was, in my opinion, manipulated into this idea of a pop star that she really wasn't. I think she is not the artist that Simon Cowell moulded her into be. Wouldn't it be great if they were like, this week you guys all have to perform a song that you have written. Hmm. I might get a bit of stick for this but there are certain promoters in the world that only really book artists that have been on TV talent shows. I have also been involved in these shows by almost like begging for a slot. In my experience, not mentioning any names, but these contestants gig with cover songs with backing tracks. I turn up and do a 20 minute set or whatever full of original songs and I'm almost made to feel inadequate. What? That's mad. That is actually mad. In the real world, if you go to like an, I don't know, an industry showcase and you've got like five artists, these four are all getting up doing original songs, here's what I am as an artist, and you get someone that's been on the X Factor and comes up and does a set of cover songs with backing tracks, surely, like, I would look down at them, not the other way around. <sighs> Nine times out of ten, these, this fan base is just like fangirls who just want to scream at, at pretty boys whether they can sing or not and they don't care what they're singing so it's not a fan base that I really want <laughs> I think it's a shame when they still have that tagline and unfortunately they'll always have that so I'm just not going to do it guys and also I've tried to audition and I haven't even got on so I want to hear what you think. Let me know in the comments below. Um, have you auditioned yourself? Do you think the X Factor is really good? What is the answer? How can I get that exposure without having to sell my soul to a TV show? Bye. Don't forget to subscribe and like and share.